working on a fun project today. Got my 3090 in here. And right now I got a small 120 fan on the back. I had this guy on the back of it for a while, and it did okay. You know, temps are, temps are decent on this. So I picked up these guys. Just little heat sinks. Nothing fancy. I think it was like eight of them for like 15 bucks or something on Amazon. So I'm going to try throwing some of these on the back of it with that 120 fan. See if I can get them a little lower. Funny story, that little back piece, that thing, actually popped off last week when I was sitting down here. When I had the, the big 200 millimeter fan on there, just sitting here. And all of a sudden I hear just hear it grinding in the computer. I'm like, oh no, what happened? I look in there and that, that little trim piece popped off. So apparently I've taken it apart so many times doing thermal pads that it doesn't want to stay in there too well. Wasn't going to bother popping it back in. Decorative, I never... The way this thing sits down here, I never actually see it anyway, so I'm just going to set it off to the side. I'm not going to use the tape yet that's with them until I figure out how well it's going to work. So I'm going to do some, just a quick dry fit, quick test, see how it works. Alright, so I ran a bunch of tests. I didn't stick them to it. I did it while I was in the case. Just kind of sat them on there. And my best results, five heat sinks, no fan. Not quite sure about the no fan thing. Once I get this back in, I'll do some more testing with the fan. Uh, but I took notes on every every step of the way. And then I decided to go for a staggered on these two middle guys because the memory chips are out towards the edge on both sides. And then there's a long memory chip here and a memory chip here. So I tried it with seven and it made it worse. My best results were five heat sinks. Thinking if I had a little bit smaller ones or able to cut these and do an exact, that would be probably be the best. But this little little edge here kind of sticks up over, so you got to stay within it. It'd be nice though to cut some little corner pieces and then cut a piece for the middle here. Uh, my motherboard has a little bump out right here, so either way I couldn't do one here. And then my all-in-one cooler keeps getting in the way. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of that. Kind of like having it keeps the CPU nice and cool but if I have to I could get rid of it so I guess you guys could have go for taller heights and stuff like that I kind of had a hard time fitting a fan on top of this thing because of the hoses in there the hoses were getting in the way but I tried a bunch of different different ways side fan in and out top fan down and up uh, I set a fan on the back here blowing across the other way I even tried throwing a fan underneath on the bottom side of the card blowing upward through there that made no change get this guy back in there and check it out all right all back together got that fan wedged in there kind of tough with the all-in-one cooler there but the hoses are holding it in place got the heat sinks under there i went with five and i've got the fan pulling air going up and that's helping the it's having the memory temps just a hair higher it's kind of hovering 76 to 78 right now and then blowing down it was staying at 76, but the core and hotspot were creeping up. Pulling air up is helping with that. Probably by next summer, I might get rid of the all-in-one cooler if this guy is still in here. Just to be able to get the fan in a better place, really help it out. Doing much better. So we're kind of bouncing around 76 to 78 on the memory, but core and hotspot still look good. There we go, there's that 76 again. So yeah, we were at 84. Uh, the other cards haven't haven't moved much temp-wise. Temperature's still about the same down here, so it's so not bad for a $15 mod. Again, if I could get that placement a little bit better on that fan or be able to fit two smaller fans, I tried doing two 80 mil fans, but they were pretty terrible. But it's hashing, hashing really well. Just nice to finally get that memory out of the red. Six degrees drop for $15. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm going to call this a great success. Uh, so kind of play around with fan placement on yours. You know, I've got kind of a weird setup with that all-in-one cooler. Your results might vary. Just keep notes. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Watch where the temps go. See if they go up. See if they go down. If they do go up, are they bringing the hot spot and core down? And just kind of play around. Just take notes. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Happy hashing. Later.